Let me teach you how to shoot in full manual mode on your DSLR or mirrorless camera in under two minutes or less. Now you can probably see today I'm shooting landscapes, but this is going to work for any kind of photography, so don't tune out no matter what kind of photography that you do. Now first things first, make sure your camera's in manual mode. Now there's three camera settings that make up every manual exposure, that's shutter speed, ISO, and aperture. Now let's start with shutter speed first. This controls how long the shutter is open, allowing light to hit the camera. Uh, the faster the shutter speed, the less light hits the camera. The slower the shutter speed, the more light can hit the camera. Additionally, faster shutter speeds can help to freeze motion, while slower shutter speeds can help to smooth some motion out. Now next, let's move to aperture. Aperture controls the size of the blades on the lens, opening them or closing them down. Now this affects your image because it gives you more or less depth of field. Portrait photographers love to open up to the maximum aperture because it gives you that dreamy background bokeh, while landscape photographers might shoot with their aperture more closed down because it gives you more depth of field in the scene. Now finally, we have ISO. The ISO is like a gain switch for exposure in your image. The higher the ISO, the brighter it will be, while the lower the ISO, the darker it will be. So you have to balance all three of these settings. Now, ISO does come at a cost and you really only want to use it when you have to have a certain shutter speed or a certain aperture to achieve the look that you want. Because as you increase the ISO, that adds digital noise to your image, which loses detail. Um, and it's generally something that most people don't want. So shoot with your ISO as low as possible, but don't be afraid to raise it when you do need a faster shutter speed to freeze the motion, or you need to stop that aperture down so you can see a little more depth of field in the scene. I hope this helps you to shoot manual exposures on your camera. If it does, make sure to leave a comment, share with a friend, and check out other videos on our channel. Thank you guys so much.